Hello, everyone, and welcome. Shatar Safira Collier here with New Vista Studios. I am so excited that we have a very special guest today, Miss Susan Van Brackle of Woe Creations. Happy holidays. How are you, Susan? Happy holidays to you, too. I'm well. How are you? I am doing so, so well. So for those who are just joining us, and this is the first time you're joining our stream, my name is Shatar, Shatar Safira Collier, and I'm the founder of New Vista Studios and Big Fairy Tales. And today we are talking all about the amazing holiday gift guides, right? Because I know at this time of the year, people are thinking about what to get and what to buy and where to go and so on. And I am here to save you some time. And we are talking with Susan Van Brackle of Woke Creations, a totally amazing fashion line with all of these warm snuggle scarves and glittery jewelry and so on. So I want to introduce Susan so that she can tell you more about the brand, but also where you can save time and shop with her. So Susan, welcome. Can you please tell them more about your fashions and your recent adventure on QVC? Yes, thank you so much for this opportunity, Shatar. And for the viewers, happy Thanksgiving and happy holidays. Well, um, it has been an amazing adventure for Woke Creation. You know, uh, my line is a line that is designed for women that want to wake up their wardrobe, that see themselves at all the best events and want to be seen at those events. My items will take you to the, the awards, the concerts, uh, the special events, and have you front row. So where the line came from. I'm based out of New York. Um, my fashion background on 7th Avenue and 5th Avenue, I'm taking those tools and turning them into this brand as I designed it with the idea of work to workout. So the fabrics that I use are ideally workout fabrics that will allow a woman to be comfortable in her own skin at the workplace yet look dressed up if she throws a jacket over it or a sweater over it and feel as if she's wearing her yoga outfit yet she looks absolutely fabulous and that's one of the things that I found totally fascinating when we started meeting. So for those who are just finding out, Susan and I are both sellers on Amazon, right? And we met at the Amazon Accelerate Conference. And she was telling me about the magic of these designs. Can you please tell more about going from yoga, going from workout to dress up? Like, can you tell me more about that? Because I think they might find that absolutely fascinating. Thank you so much. Yes, you know, um, what's interesting, when we were in uh, Seattle uh, for the Amazon conference, I wore a lot of my items there, especially when we were out in the evening and going to our special affairs and even during the day as we were going from conference to conference. So it came out of the fact that I'm a former managing editor for a newspaper. And anyone that knows writing or journalism, it's, it's just about sitting all day long. And I said to myself, I'm sitting way too much. And sitting has become the new smoking. And what you really need to do is get up and move. So it was impossible for me to find a way to work out during the day without totally deconstructing my look. I didn't want to take off my my clothes and put on my yoga pants and look like a, a complete you know dud and then have to rush back and go to an afternoon meeting so i said you know susan you really need to use the skills you have to create something or a look that you can use from work to workout so use that fabrication that you like that stretch that comfort we just got off the couch from covid shutdown but i want to take that comfort with me so that's where the use of the fabrication came. But I put it in prestige and statement prints that you know most women will wear and love. You can wear my things to a wedding. You can wear my things to a party, and no one will know. It's like the it's like the idea of the old the bandage dress. Remember that? You know when everybody was like cinched into it, and and it was just like in a gazillion colors. Well, mine is the new age bandage. So let's, let's talk about that too, because a lot of people who may not be into designing fashion, they may not understand all of the things that go into it from the fabrics and the combinations and the patterns and whether it's moisture wicking and all of those things. So can you talk a bit about how you select your fabrics and the purposes that they serve for the consumer? Okay. So 
I actually launched this line when it was finally put pen to paper. I launched it at Fall New York Fashion Week at a sustainable fashion show in the National Geographic in Times Square. And at the time, what was important to me, and I believe what is important to women all over or people all over is sustainability. So I wanted to find fabric that was sustainable, had the moisture wicking, that used less water in the production process, and then apply custom designs that I, I either, not designs, but prints or patterns that I either source or create myself right here in my studio. So I will create the patterns and have them placed over the fabric where it's then constructed and then shipped out to me with my brand label. So there's a few steps. <laughs> That's absolutely fascinating. And I'm seeing some, you know, because I'm totally into pink and things that are fuzzy and furry and just comfy. I am seeing something there over your shoulder there that pink fabulousness. Can you please tell them more <laughs> about this? This is what I want to see. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, you know, Woke Creations is both a fashion line and a fashion accessories and fashion jewelry line. The fashion designs I create myself in the process that I just mentioned, but I do source fashion accessories and fashion jewelry that I will not say that I'm making myself, but I am hand picking and selecting. So this beautiful fairy tale fuzzy that you were referring to is the faux fur poncho. So the faux fur poncho actually can be worn two different ways. There's the faux fur poncho that you wear horizontally so that it goes long across your body, but short at the hip. And then you can wear it where it is pointed. It comes pointed down. So in the traditional poncho fashion, um, this faux fur was such a hit recently it's featured on my amazon site because you know people when i was and we'll talk about it later uh, the jfk pop-up that i did a uh, jfk international airport pop-up uh it was one of the most popular things because people who were traveling and coming in may not have dressed properly <laughs> so there i was with my ponchos And they were they were accessorized with all the right things. And I had stewardesses who literally got off their flight and said, oh, I think I need something to wear because I'm going to be in New York for a day. Um, so it was really a fabulous thing to have the poncho, which also comes in a gray, sorry, <laughs> a gray as well as black. Amazing, amazing, and so, so, so beautiful. And yes. then for people who are trying to find out how you originated, where did you come up with this entire idea to create the combination of things that are both fashionable and functional? Can you tell them about that? Well, I really kind of consider myself the customer. So, you know, during the COVID shutdown, I had the good fortune to be able to work from home. Um, and I know that that really was a luxury that not everyone had. But when you're a writer and a publisher, you can do it from your desktop anywhere in the world. So I had the opportunity to have that downtime. And, you know, research has shown that there have been a lot of new businesses, especially women owned businesses that have been sparked by this COVID shutdown. So I knew that as I was home working at my desktop and when it was time to go back i was like oh do i really want to go back and if i have to go back i don't want to go back the same way i need to have the flexibility i need to have the comfort i need to have you know all the things that i currently had at that time so you know the more i thought about it and put pencil to pen and just kind of doodled and drew and and what have you, what well, creations was born. But I'll tell you, Shatar, I tendered resignation last year um, in June, 2021. And I was part of the great resignation that said, you know, I want to work, but I want to work my way. 
I absolutely love that. And and working your way, you are. Folks, she is doing QBC. She is doing Amazon. Susan Van Brackle is really, really doing it. So I'm going to go ahead and roll this clip so that you can see what it looks like a day in the life of Woke Creations. And it is so exciting that people are having an opportunity to see some of the jewelry and how it's combined with the fashions like up close and personal. I'm going to go ahead and show another clip because this video has some of my favorite items. I told you guys, did you see that in the baguettes? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And the puffer designs, perfect for winter, especially in New York winter where it's pretty cool outside. Sometimes there's snow. You have things that'll make people look great. It is absolutely amazing. So I just want to tell the folks who are joining us that I love the designs from Susan Van Brackle. If you haven't seen her before, go ahead and find her on Amazon. You can see her segment on QBC. You can visit her site. Can you please tell them, Susan, where they can find more of your products? Yes, yes. Well, I can be found at wokecreations.com. I can also be found at amazon.com backslash wokecreations. And since this is what is it it's cyber, leading into cyber monday we just got finished with black friday and we're in small business saturday for this entire weekend i'm running a 20 percent off gift to customers and if you shop on the amazon you get the free shipping and also um all the the benefits that come with being an amazon prime shopper Yes, that shipping is incredible. The free shipping, next day shipping, same day shipping, absolutely amazing. And for those of you who also have been with me on this journey, you know that we've launched the Big Fairy Tales line where we have everything from luggage to luggage covers to backpacks. We even have wig stands. And a lot of people don't know yet about the wig stands, but I'll go ahead and give you a sneak preview while we're here because people who travel, they need this, right? If they travel and they have a hair accessory, where do they put it? Do they try to hang it up in the closet? You know, try to put it on the pants hangers there? No. I am so bad, girl. I mean, <laughs> what is it you have? Because yes. I tell you, they probably need at least a few of those. <laughs> yes, it's the wig stand. And make sure you do not get an imitator. Get the official one from Big Fairy Tales, right? And it's so convenient because you take it directly to the hotel, you set it in front of the TV or right there on the nightstand, and you can put your wig right on it. If you're traveling, that way it doesn't get smushed, right? It doesn't get crushed. You just put it here, put your wig right on for those who do cosplay or just, you know, traveling fashions, and you put your wig right on the stand. But another thing is that you just take it apart. Super simple, you just take it apart and then you can put it right into your luggage. Like, boom, boom, boom. 
totally flat. It fits right in your luggage. Mm. Exactly, the traveling wig stand. So you can also get that at bigfairytales.com slash Amazon because it's exclusively available on Amazon. And also while we're talking, Susan, I wanted to ask you because you had a chance to sneak preview a lot of the Big Fairy Tales products while we were there at Amazon Accelerate. What are some things that you found most special about Big Fairy Tales that other consumers might enjoy? Well, you know, I love, first of all, the artwork that graced a lot of your travel accessories for Big Fairy Tales. And what really stood out to me was the luggage, the luggage, the carry-ons with, you know, those, those actually, they're these designs. Um, it's, it spoke to me because, you know, you don't always see yourself as a woman of color on product lines. Um, and so Shatar has graced us onto her product lines. And I, I just thought that those images were so adorable. Thank you. That means so much. Yes. And I love it when you arrive at your hotel suite and you can unpack your things, right? And you, you can unpack your items from what creations, all these fabulous fuzzy sweaters and jewelry and things. And you can look at your bags and see that they are just a pleasure to your eyes right uh -huh. there in the whole hotel suite and you can put your wig right there on the stand so trying to make sure that people have everything they need to live their best lives and feel fabulous you know to live the adventure every day because that is what it's about it's not just about the journey but you want to enjoy the experience enjoy the path that you take and look good along the way so That's super has things with which you can do that and i just want to say thank you guys for joining us thank you guys for keeping it positive and upbeat and just fun and fashionable and susan what else would you like to share with the folks who are watching right now before we go well, I would like to say that World Creations will be back at the JFK International Airport pop-up for the week of December, the third week in December, leading into Christmas. So for the entire week, um, I will be there outside of Duty Free and able to interface with the, the people, with the world, people of the world that are the cross-section that are traveling to and fro. If you happen to be in the airport, please look me up. And um, of course, going into New Year's Eve, I will have a complete push of absolutely brilliant, fabulous things that are going to make you stand out in the crowd going into 2023. If I can give you a sneak peek, this clutch. This is, yeah, this is going to be like the clutch of the season that will take you rhinestones and all into 2023. It'll take you into the Super Bowl and you'll be a hit. Amazing. This is born on a red carpet event. Oh, fabulous. And right, we're here in Las Vegas. You know, the Las Vegas Raiders are here. So that is like a perfect oh, color combination. Yay. Yes, that is amazing. Well, thank well, you. I have and to definitely get one to you. Yes, that, that <laughs> so you can represent. I will definitely rock it. That is gorgeous. Oh, Susan, thank you. Thank you so much. And I'll make sure to get one of the traveling wig stands to you so that when you're traveling at the hotel, you can make it nice and easy. It'll fit right in your luggage, in your big fairy tales luggage. And then you can yeah. set your accessories on it as you like. I am I'm so happy to do that. I'm so happy to do that. Yep. So for those who'd like to shop, you can shop with Susan at wokecreations.com. You can also visit her shop on amazon.com slash wokecreations. I am Shatar here. You can visit us at bigfairytales.com and you can find all of your favorite accessories there. For more, you can also follow our journey at newbusinessstudios.com where we engage in teaching businesses how to make media for their companies to better market and promote their brands in fun, easy, colorful ways. But until then, we will see you next time. I am Shatara Safira Collier here with New Vista Studios and Big Fairy Tales, joined by Susan Van Brackle of Wood Creations of New York. And we will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed all of these items from the Holiday Gift Guide, making it fast, easy, and fun for you. And we wish you a wonderful year and happy holidays. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Bye.